fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 89 of the 9 to 5 Fitness Podcast. 89 rated, Neymar Jr. Packed him. What an absolute beast. Any other 89 rated players out there? I'm not sure, but I'm joined with my co-host, Anabolic Gabe. Gabe, how are you and how would you sleep? Great to be on, Louis. Thank you so much for having me on again. Um, I slept fantastically actually last night. I'm having a great time sleeping uh, in this new house. It's good vibes, as we always say. Any uh, sleepovers here? or just solo dolo? No, I, I'm becoming a bit of a Sigma male. I'm yeah. trying not to do many sleepovers and focus on myself recently. How about you? How did you sleep, uh, Louis Phillips? Slept well uh, and ooh, yeah, everything's good. We are joined with Jordan Menadju. Am I pronouncing your last name correctly? Yes, yes, you are Menadju. Fantastic. Uh, there was one thing I needed to address, though, and that's the elephant in the room for this episode again. Our boy Louis Phillips 12 is actually gone. Um, oh, uh, he, should we tell him where he's gone? Yeah, so he had a successful yoga retreat. So a bit proud of, a of him. cleanse off the phone, um, and he's straight into another phone cleanse. So if you are an avid fan, an avid listener of the podcast, you will know that it's kind of his passion to work on yachts, right? He's got a, an underlying passion for, for just all things yachts and boating and, and you oligarchs. Guys have seen, yeah, and oligarchs. Yeah, he if loves you have oligarchs. Seen, one of his viral TikToks was him speaking about his experience on his gap year to go away to the south south of France to go work on yachts. He's actually doing a little bit more of that. He got a really good opportunity to work on a yacht there. Only downside is uh, it's one of the big Russian oligarchs yachts and unfortunately they don't allow any sort of social media or phones on there. So again, stone cold Steve from him. Well, I, like I said last week, again, guys, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do the same job that Louis does, but I'm going to try and uh, give you guys some value out there. So thank you very much for having me back on again, Anabolic, and I'm very excited to get well, into this episode. Luckily, we have the cavalry here to really boost up the, the potty. So yeah. I think the conversation should be pretty good. Let us know how you guys are enjoying it. Uh, a bit of a t- switch up from the old uh, Anabolic Louis Phillips 12 mm. dynamic, mm. Uh, but we... Uh, sipping on some alive drinks. Yes. It's absolutely delicious. We love our alive drinks. They are best in the business. Uh, make sure you go check them out because uh, I think they're one of the soft drink of the summer, I'd say. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, enough talking from us, mate. Yep. We have a guest. Come on. on. Let's so, yep, stop Jordan, talking about ourselves. Yes. What's been happening, mate? Anything? <sighs> Not much. How's it's your weekend, good. brother? Yeah, no, it was good. Good? What'd you get up to? Went to the beach with a couple of mates. We're supposed to have a a wholesome, wholesome weekend in, but you know how that goes. Never, never oh, works. Mate, we know. So went down to the beach. Went to, no, the, fir- the weekend started off at Naked for Satan's. Mm-hmm. A couple of roof, uh, rooftop drinks. Yep. You know, vibing with a couple of friends. And then that's that's all just when it started. Because we had uh, like a group together. Mm-hmm. So like, you know, just when, when the vibes get together, we just start planning spontaneous ideas, going, yeah. flowing. So yeah, no, we went down to a mate's uh, beach house in Safety Beach. So yeah, that was good. So um, yeah, good just, times, just good down, times, yeah. good vibes, good people. I think is what we say. That's the more, it. the more good people you hang out with, the better times you have. Uh, what's happening this week, mate? Uh, not much. Just um, you know, coming on just some good blokes podcast. So <laughs> um, I wouldn't say good blokes. Maybe when they're asleep, <laughs> they're pretty good blokes. But um, I was mate. trying to think of like what's been happening lately. But we've just been working pretty hard. Like mm. nothing too exciting. Lots of stuff going on in the background, of course. We yeah. had a we we did a similar sort of thing to you. We said we're going to have a um, wholesome weekend. A wholesome in. weekend, and we actually did. Oh, didn't did. we? Yeah. What did we do? We, we didn't played go out. Soccer. Yeah, we played soccer and we chilled yeah. out and went to bed early on a Saturday night and woke up Sunday feeling a million dollars. Yeah, true. You wouldn't read yeah, about it, didn't you we? Read yeah, about we it. did. And that's our extent of our Saturday night was going to Yochi. We did. We went to Yochi. That's, that's, that's right. been popular now. Oh man, that we should ins- do a Yochi trip oh, after this. It's packed. We actually could. Yeah, we could. Yeah, Yochi I after this. We actually do. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. No, let's do it. Let's yeah. do that. Let's do we it. love hanging out with Jordan. He's a he's an absolute legend. We've um, hung out a few times. You know, all of us uh, at a town. few different places. A um, few different establishments. I think this is the first time I've hung out sober. Yeah, to be honest, so. <laughs> yeah. that's Are we? true. Um, <laughs> but the reason I was so keen to get Jordan on uh, while Louis away is because we normally get sports people on this and that. I thought let's diversify a little bit because Jordan has some other interests. Uh, we know you train, you like going to the gym. So does every functioning male. But <laughs> what separates John is he's got a bit of pizzazz, a bit of flair, a bit of, bit of style to him. He's a bit of a fashionista. He even dressed you, mate. He dressed not, me not very this well. Kit. So <laughs> I thought we need a little, 
I think all of us blokes need a little bit of that flair, a few tips. So yes. I was keen to get like another perspective on so Jordan can chat a little bit about fashion and things like that. And I think that we all share um, a little bit of that fashion sort of side of kind of being a little bit out there. Do you want to kind of touch on what you think separates you from the rest of the pack? Um, I guess from what you've been doing on social media in the in the past year, what, what separates you from the rest of the pack, do you reckon? Oh, just whenever I, you know, whenever you go shopping, you're always looking for something that is not basic and not everyone else has it. So, like, just, like, a unique um, sense of fashion, really, is what I go for. Like, you know, you can tell by the shoes I wear, like, you don't see much people wearing... Other Can you talk us through the shoes? What are you wearing there? The the Air Max 97. Speaking to the, the mic. <laughs> They're Sorry. sick. I love them. And they've got a little bit of corduroy going on or something as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the Golf NRG Nike 97. So these these are the first shoes that actually got me into shoes. Really? Yeah. They're yeah. the OGs. They are the OGs. I remember when I first got these like three years back. They've been through the ringer these, these have. But yeah, first got these like three years ago and they're the first shoes that ever got me into I think into before we it. get into the nitty gritty of fashion, let's hear a bit of an overview about Jordan. Like, who are you? Tell us a bit about yourself. Give us your life story a bit in about 15 words. <coughs> okay, life story. A um, bit about me. I have travelled a bit of the world. Um, I never really stay in the same spot for longer than four years. Well, when I was growing up, that was the case. Now I'm sort of, you know, down in Melbourne for a bit longer, but... Um, so yeah, was was born over in Broome, WA. Yep, yep. And then um, came because my dad's a meteorologist, so he, he likes to move around a lot. Gets stationed down at or different um, weather stations, and um, so yeah, been been to a couple of different schools now. Um, but yeah, just living in Melbourne at the moment. And just where like, have you been in between that? So you said you were born in Broome and now you're in Melbourne. There, yeah. I feel like there's a little bit in between there that you've missed out yeah, on. Yeah, look, I have. Come, I have. On. Oh, hey, come on, give me some Ga- more. Gab said give, give me a five. Nah, yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, we love like, listening to your voice. Cop, bad, cop. Yeah, come on. No, we love listening to your voice. Give us give us a little bit of more what happened in between there because I know that you've been around to various places in the world. Yeah. Can you give me some of those destinations? Yeah, okay. So I've lived on a couple of islands okay. growing up. The first one being Norfolk Island. It's... um. Just Where's that for the be- for the geographists um, that aren't in the chat? It's probably closer to Hobart than it is to Australia, so it's down there, okay. off to the east. Um, but lived there for four years, so that was that was a good destination. Loved loved living on an island when I was a younger kid, and then moved to Cocos Island, which is a beautiful spot. That's that's close to Indonesia as well, just down um, west of Indonesia. Um, so that was that was lovely. That's like, you know, near the Indian Ocean and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, really enjoyed that on Cocos Island. And then came down to Cobar, which is in New South Wales. It's a con- small country town in Cobar. Shout out to some of the Cobar boys watching. I know I know they'll be uh, big fans uh, of the potty. Uh, I know, 100%. <laughs> yeah, I, think, yeah. I think a couple of them have copped the merch, so they love that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I lived in Cobar for four years and then moved up to Melbourne. And now I'm just in Melbourne. Living what do you reckon, life. Melbourne? Out of out of all those, where's the favourite place that you've been to? Definitely Cocos Island. Cocos. Yeah, yeah, on the island. Jesus, I've never. You know, you've just named to go for a trip, bro. bro. You know, you've yeah. named I reckon like six places I've never heard yeah. of before. <laughs> <laughs> Goes to show my Australian geography is absolutely horrific. No, yeah, Cocos um, but that sure. sounds absolutely unbelievable. You've lived in a few different places. Yeah, no. Um, I think that's. I think we talk about it sometimes. Like living in a few different places is a, is a really good thing for a young male to start yeah. to experience a few different cultures I think I and, mean, and you experience I, that I on exchange I keep harping on about it but like exchange best thing I've done because you realise like there's more than just Melbourne for instance um, whereas I feel like a lot of people here are just in that mindset go out to the same places every weekend hang out with the same people mm. just yeah. the same perspective same everything whereas I think I learn the most when I travel um, and not doing like like a 10 day holiday go over there for two months or something mm. where least. did you exchange uh, Malaysia oh nice yeah so kind of buddies with Indonesia yeah they speak the sa- similar language you got Bahasa Malay and Bahasa Indonesia <laughs> <laughs> Kaelin so like this is literally your job <laughs> Baha- I thought you bloody speak it or something Bahasa it's that Bahasa Malay is mm-hmm. what they speak in Malaysia and it's like Bahasa Indonesia something like that but it's just a slight variant but yep. very similar but very similar so yeah. it's kind of, yeah okay i I'm lucky that in Australia we just speak English and then I go to America, they speak uh, American, well done, English. Mate. And uh, United Kingdom, they speak English <laughs> as well. Head in the so sand. Head in the sand, uncultured. never been anywhere else, mate. Uncultured swine. <laughs> uh, so, Jordan, what got you into TikTok? 
I can't remember what I, f- I would have seen you like a few, yeah. like a year and a half ago. We weren't yeah. like friends back then, but I would have seen your stuff. But yeah. I can't remember what I saw. It was just like randomy TikTok. Y- yeah, videos. yeah. So it first started off with just like the weekend would come and I'd just start filming like small montages of me and my friends just going out. Kind of just like a vlog memory, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like just like lifestyle type videos, but it was mainly just on the weekend because, you know, throughout the week everyone was doing stuff, but then all the boys got together on the weekend and then, yeah, just started posting them. Um, they were a bit of a vibe, but then they, they started kicking off a little bit from there. Um, and then I think COVID hit and I started doing like TikTok lives through COVID and like everyone, yeah, everyone just loved that. Really? Yeah. Did you have much success from that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, a little bit. Really? Yeah. I mean, I think I've, yeah. I don't know if that's something I've personally gained followers from. But yeah. Do you think you really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you gain like a community because everyone comes and yeah. joins your lives okay. and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. No, nah, so yeah, first just started off with um, mates on the weekend, like small montages. And then it just like branched off from there. Like I started getting a bit of traction. So then I started, you know, showing a bit more of my personality and started doing like fit checks and like style videos and then pretty much just posting like you know videoing anything i did and just putting it together and posting it on tiktok was that your goal initially to to end up was that your end goal to end up being you know you know you've got seventy five thousand followers on tiktok now i think and um you've done a fantastic job like a super strong point though yeah we're we're always amazed we're like geez jordan gets a lot of likes right Not, not from like a uh, like people would be jealous of that, but we're like, fuck, he's doing well. Like, that's yeah. sick to see, like, inspiring. Yeah, yeah, no, I do. I really like Instagram. Instagram's probably one of my, the, the most apps I use, but well, I've always liked taking photos and being behind a camera and really like thinking about it, like, when I'm posting. Um, so yeah, I think that's what that comes from my Instagram, like, really, because you know, I do think it like put a bit of thought into it. You know, it's how you know, some, some of my mates just you know post a post a picture after going out on a weekend and stuff but i like to you know make the instagram look a little bit aesthetic and start you know grabbing people's attention when they're looking at it so yeah i think that's people definitely uh don't give enough credit to people that post on instagram uh they get a lot of likes because a lot of time people think oh they're just posting a photo you know oh damn they're getting more likes than me or more views or whatever there's actually a thought process that goes in behind it so like what what does your thought process go for and what what pops off for you most on Instagram? Because you, you know, I think you've got 35,000 followers or 40,000 yeah, followers. Yeah, 35, but yeah. you get like 10,000, 15,000 likes, which is a ridiculous amount of likes for the amount of following that you have. What do you reckon hits and starts to pop off for you on Instagram um, that gets you those high amounts of likes? Um, I think it's just posting stuff that, you know, blokes wouldn't normally post. Like, be mm. m- might feel a bit uncomfortable posting. So it's just really like getting out of your comfort zone. Um, like I think I posted um, a, a photo a couple of a couple of weeks ago of me like holding some flowers. You know, it's a bit like it's a cute photo. You, you know, it's, good, it's, darling. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, like just like that, like that yeah. that really grabs people's attention and people start like sending it around. You know, yeah. whether it's talking good or bad. Any publicity is good publicity. That's we it. That's say it. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think doing that, like um, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and just really posting whatever you want and whatever you reckon looks good. But, um, yeah, no, I've got a good group of mates who, you know, capture all the good moments when we're, you know, whenever we're out and stuff like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I think Jordan has like a really unique aesthetic, which I think does really well. I think the only other guy I can think of who posts similar stuff is like Harry Holland. Do you know Yeah, him? yeah, yeah. Harry you Holland. and him, like, yeah, I can't yeah. think of any other names, but, and you're both doing super well. Harry Holland's another one of those guys who gets like really good engagement and not, we're not here saying, oh, likes is everything, but it is kind of a metric of how, like, engaging your content is. Yeah. 100%. When you're getting more likes, it means your uh, photo is getting pushed out to different accounts and more people, which gives people an, a chance, another chance to follow you. Um, so it is a really good metric, like you said, to, to check out that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so you've gone TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. Um, which has been, like, it's just been super crazy for, for your kind of growth. And I think that... I saw you pretty early, the same as Gab, maybe like a year ago, um, I reckon on TikTok and Instagram. Do you spend a lot of time on like TikTok and Instagram or like are you pretty <laughs> What's the screen time that? on it? Yeah, a lot yeah. of screen time or not? Because like, nah. we spend a fair bit of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, I do spend a fair bit of time on, on TikTok's a killer. Like once you just get scrolling, oh, man, I know. you can't stop. 
Um, so yeah, a little bit on, a little bit on TikTok. Are you looking at trends like, oh, this is what nah, I'm do. so I, yeah, I haven't really switched over to that mindset yet, and I'm starting to now learn to start like thinking about it more from a you have because like you don't I don't know like with me it feels like I don't really have that much followers like I'm just me so like I'm not really thinking about it too much yeah like in that like you know trends and stuff you know yeah. stuff like that um I did so have yeah. a good question on this topic from, yeah shoot let's from, hit it uh, a listener he says it's from Connor Peters how to break away the stereo of being a homo from your mates when you're first starting social media and content very interesting did yeah. you get a little bit of that when you first started um, yeah. they, they, yeah. they already talk, know everyone they were already probably knows. talking smack behind yeah. my back but I yeah. didn't really listen uh, yeah. I'm sure like you guys would have got the same thing yeah, yeah. let's go Jordan how, well, how, how did your mates firstly start to deal with it when you started posting on social media yeah my experience is probably not the same as you guys I've got a pretty good group of mates not, 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 not meaning to boast my mates up yeah I've got a pretty good group of mates that don't really give me that much crap for it. Like, you know, joking around every every now and then. But, yeah, no, they're pretty supportive of it. Like, That's crazy, bro. Yeah, no, I love, I love my boys. Shout yeah, out to my boys. That's yeah. crazy. Like, I mean, I think, like, for me personally, when you post something that does well, it's engaging, and it's you, you're passionate about it, and it's getting 10,000 likes. Yeah. Whereas this bloke's posting himself drinking on the weekend and he gets 27 yeah. likes. Yeah. Like, why are you talking shit, mate? Not yeah. to, We're not talking shit about you. Like, we're doing something that we like to do. Yeah, exactly. And people relate to it mm. yeah. 100 no it's fantastic I, I reckon it's uh, we always talk about the Australian culture and tall poppy syndrome and blah 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 that sort of stuff's really interesting um, but I think that it's a massive testament to your mates if they're doing that sort of stuff and, and speaking really well about you behind your back or not giving you too much stick about it because um, yeah it takes a it takes a bigger man to say that than you know take the piss out of you yeah exactly that's, that's a very good point you make yeah yeah Especially like when the content you post can lead to a career path and we'll get on to like potential career paths for you. But for you and I, it's like, well, we're posting this content and we're making like good money from it and we're passionate about it. And I think that's when people are like, oh, that's why they're posting. Like, why would I be talking shit? When they see us driving our Lambos down Glen Ferry, then they're going to be... One day. One day. <laughs> so... Has there been any career? Obviously, your stuff's very different. Yeah. Uh, talk talk to us a little bit about that. Any career in what sense? Like, well, you mentioned modeling, p- perhaps modeling. Yeah, yeah, perhaps modeling. Yeah, I really want to get into modeling next year. Uh, that's the goal for next year. Um, yeah. So, I, like, obviously, I've always liked being behind a camera and making content. So, I thought that was the right. And so, at first, you never really think. That you can be a model, I don't know, unless you're cocky. Oh, it's, a, it's yeah, it's a weird one to go through. Yeah, I get <laughs> so, it. So, like, I never thought about it, it never slipped my mind until I got hit up throughout this year of someone saying, have you ever thought of doing modelling? And I was like, oh, no, I haven't. And then from there, I did, like, a few, you know, test shoots and stuff like that and, like, did a few, um, you know, test runs and then I really, I really enjoyed it and I really liked, you know, the idea around it and, like, seeing you know pieces being made and content being made from from the photographers and then once that happened I started posting more of that type of content and that like reached out to other you know models and then I've gone out with a few you know for drinks and stuff like that gone out with a few models and male or female male <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> I, mean, I mean come on it's just a question no, no, yeah. Don't, have you felt like there's a bit of pressure on you being a model in terms of looks and in terms of physique because I know for female models it's pretty serious what yep. they have to do yeah. have you got any backlash kind of with people producers or um, photographers saying you know you need to do this with your body yes yes I have actually funny you ask so when I first got approached um, by a photographer we did some shoots and then he sent it sent them off to an agency and the agency came back saying like can we see him without the mo so I shaved my oh. mo for the first time in like a not couple- in Movember nah nah god nah. damn these god damn so then I was like oh like they don't want me for what I look like so that you know I was like nah but um, and then the photographer was kind of like oh like what about like can you get like a six pack like how, how how like how long do you reckon it could take to get you a six pack <laughs> and I was like yeah. something just like a click send a photo yeah. of you with six Melbourne bitters mate <laughs> hey right here last I, th- like a click I of think the Jordan's got the per- perfect proportions for a model though yeah uh, like obviously very tall isn't he he's very tall yeah. but like they, they do want that kind of not lanky but a bit lanky 
Yeah. Just, that yeah, I know what you're saying. I know. Yeah, I, I know. No, I, I'm the opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm five foot two, mate. Boy. Maybe if they want freaking yeah, big uh, people. Yeah, if exactly. they're doing a people modeling, yeah. you could go in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people model. Uh, what have you got down there? We've got. Um, have we got some um, some Q and A's? Uh, we do. Hang on. I wanted to do the the NTF plug, but I forgot oh. what I was gonna plug, bro. Well, you're gonna plug freaking the merch, the programs. I actually don't even know what to plug. We well, can plug everything because... Bro, no, I had a really good idea, but I forgot oh, it. Oh, no. Well, I can plug right now, if you're looking at me on the YouTube, I've got the Seafoam shirt and the Seafoam shorts. I'm double Seafoaming today, dog. Oh, I, I know that. what we're going to plug. All right. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who's bought merch because <laughs> there's been a lot of orders and I can't be bothered sending out the orders anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a huge step for the company and the brand overall this week. Uh, it's something you've done as well, Prime, but we have got a warehouse where everything will be sent out of now, so it's no longer like us doing it. So that we should bought be a, a whole, warehouse. That should be a whole lot more efficient. Uh, I know there's been a lot of people complaining, when's my order sent out, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for supporting us, but keep buying the merch because it'll be sent out way quicker now, and it's just going to be like clockwork, and we can focus on marketing it, new products, getting volume in, everything like that the high level stuff and the warehouse would just make it so much more efficient i don't think people understand how much background stuff that we do um that just takes up so much of our time so just having that uh i guess weight lifted off our shoulders is gonna be massive for us um have you got any big things coming uh any any big merch items probably or do you but keep my brain's secret? working at 50 percent right now yeah fair but enough i remember something that you said you were like I don't know if I can say it. I'm throwing you under the bus here, but you're like, I didn't even want to promote my merch anymore because I can't be bothered can't be sending bothered. it out. <laughs> if anyone, no, like, if, people don't understand how much it sucks. You've never packed an order in your life, nah, nah. so you don't get it. It sucks. It. Print out the sticker. You have to go through it, blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, it is so frustrating. So having this is going to be massive for us. And like you said, focus on marketing and hopefully you guys just keep buying um, the products. The it probably products. takes five minutes to pack an order, but when there's a hundred orders, which is a, it's a great thing. Don't get me oh, wrong. Mate, but, we, mate, we're so, so grateful. You're not an order packer at the end of the day. No, I'm not a robot. Yeah. Yeah. I've got so things I've got to do. That is a big move and I'm really excited. And that leads us on to... One of the major topics of today's podcast, and that's fashion, right? We love fashion. I, I don't really consider myself to be much of a fashion designer, but I think me as well as Louis, we have created what has been a pretty successful sportswear brand. I've just said, oh yeah, that'd look good in the gym. I like that. And then people buy it. So I don't know. Maybe we can hire Jordan to be our fashion consultant. <laughs> Ooh, imagine so. that. Imagine jo- imagine, oh, imagine the NTF times Jordan manage you. <laughs> fashion collection that could actually be something cool down the line yeah let's do it let's, imagine let's that and we release some jeans and sh- Ooh. do a photo shoot happen do a photo shoot yeah. you the model yeah let's go because there's a lot of cool fashion brands out there at the moment um, so first time i heard about it was when jesse tonyolo came on the podcast he's uh the founder of push pull and uh he mentioned all these other brands he's um onto some new projects now but he mentioned this brand merch and Murtra. and since then um I've actually found a whole lot more about they send all of us down hats. Like yeah, they're yeah. doing super cool selling yeah. out all their stuff. I think it's the time for these really boutique fashion brands to create some hype products and sell them out. Hundred percent. And I think is that something that you've thought about down the line to yeah, have your own fashion? I label? have I have thought about that and yeah, there there could be some things in the works. Mate, I'd love to see it because yeah? well the like getting into the fashion chat, the first time that I come to Melbourne, first week, I say Jordy, hook me up. Let's link up, brother. <laughs> I need you. Uh, I think it was a Sunday, or it might have been a Saturday. It was morning, a Saturday, Saturday yeah. And I yes. went out that Friday. So and I was did I, yeah. absol- I was hung as a freaking You're in state. Yeah. I was hung as a bee, and I remember rocking up. <laughs> I remember rocking up, and um, oh, I was all right. Had the sunnies on pretty much all day, and we went out for a shop. We went to the, the Fitzroy, Fitzroy Mills markets. markets. Yeah, talk me through. That's the go-to spot. Talk me through it. The go-to spot in Melbourne. If you ever. Come to Melbourne, or if you live in Melbourne, you haven't been to Fitzroy Mills Market. You need to get there. They, they, they've got some good thrift. Well, you wouldn't even call it thrift, but it's over. It's you know, it's a bit overpriced. Oh, I love it, man. They call it thrift. I think I spent a thousand dollars because Jordan kept saying this, this, this. I'm looking for price tag two fifty bucks. I'm like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'll send it back. It's not really thrifty. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not. The brand new. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing Bloody nowadays. Hell. That all the op shops and claim to be thrifting. It's like as 
They know what they've got. As expensive oh, as Nike and I looked at it. I tried to barter with him as well. I was like, 250 Could I get 200 <laughs> He said, nah, mate, 250 I said, please. No, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't let up, so I paid $250. Um, but, yeah, talk me through a bit of, like, you probably had a look at um, what I was wearing. You were like, what the hell is going on with this bloke that we need to get? What, what did you think in your head, this is what we need to do with him? No, I, well, I saw what you were wearing. I was like, I can tell you're from, yeah, from Adelaide, yeah? Noosa, Noosa, Noosa. 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 Um, so I was like, oh, yeah, i got to hook him up. But um, you said you're after some 97s. So I got you some 97s. You can't go wrong with the cargo. I think we got some black cargo pants. Yeah, yeah. Can't go wrong with black cargo pants. And that, that vest that I found you. Ooh. Oh, that's so nice. That was heat. I love it. Yeah, that I was love heat. that. He loves yeah. I'm not usually a fan of vests, but that one is so nice. Yeah. You're more than welcome to wear it whenever you want, my friend. It probably wouldn't fit five foot two, mate, ball. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't fit. It, would fit. it wouldn't fit your shoulders. That's the only thing it wouldn't yeah. fit. You, you do borrow some of my pants sometimes. I that's did. really, that's the good thing about this house, right? You know how like sisters and girls are borrowing clothes from each other? We're legit like that, except we're boys. It's so normalized boys sharing each other's clothes. It's yeah. weird, but it's fun. It's normal. Mm, like that's... Louis came up first week and was like st- um, borrowing some of my stuff, and vice versa you with yours. Borrow like my suit pants that oh. somehow fit you. Yeah, I don't know how. When you've got the freaking biggest meatball legs in the history. Yeah, and then I borrowed some jeans from you for a oh, concert. How good? It worked how so good well. Did we look? That's like quadruple the wardrobe now. Mm, exactly. So mm. true. Who, who? What's your living arrangements at the moment, Jordy? I'm just living around uh, the northern suburbs. You, who are you with? Just my parents at the moment. Just the rents? Yeah, just the rents at the moment. You spend a lot of time with your friends? Yes, I do. Yeah, we're looking to move out and all get a house together. We're just waiting for the right time because all, all the boys sort of live out of Melbourne. Mm. So we're waiting for the right time to all get in. It's definitely something I'd recommend doing. Yeah. We, we've had a fantastic couple of months and yeah, I think nah. that it's yeah, something that you that we definitely recommend doing 100%. There's yeah. probably like a lot of blokes listening in this that are absolutely clueless with fashion. Kind of like Louis. Louis's clueless with yeah, fashion. Yeah, unfortunately. We love him, but... We love him. And cooking as well. <laughs> but I want to provide some value to the viewers here. Yeah. If you can give us three tips for the average clueless male who's wearing... A piping hot t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> they, they're shorts. wearing jeans and <laughs> Nike free runs to the club. Can you give us three tips to improve his fashion drastically? Um, three tips to improve his fashion. This is all. The, all these tips need to go straight to Louis. We'll send him on. Uh, I reckon we'll send him on a raven all the way to the south of France, yeah. straight to the oligarch. <laughs> yeah, write him a letter. <laughs> yep. All one right, thing. Three I, tips. One thing. I reckon, don't follow trends. Go go go, like go with what you like because you'll follow a trend. You will buy the new shoes, and then they'll be out of fashion in like a couple of months, and then you got to go find something else. So, cool. yeah, tip number one is follow your own. Follow, follow your own stuff. Yeah. Don't follow anyone else. Because yeah. I feel like you can wear something weird, but as long as you back it, like yeah. it looks cool. A bit of confidence. If you have confidence, confidence is everything with the fit. I feel like if you're wearing a great fit. You're gonna have confidence. You can't be not confident in a good fit. Yeah, like. I agree. Do you ever get anxious um, wearing something a little bit out there? In yeah, public? yeah, of course. Yeah, all, all it's the normal, time. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is normal. And I think that that's something that people should understand at home. When you guys do wear something that's a little bit out there, we all, you know, you, me and Gab, even when we wear some weird things, you I know, like doing that. Bro. Like, but like, you, you still feel that on the inside. You're like, oh, am I a little bit like, you know, I'm a little right. bit unsure yeah. about what I'm wearing. But yeah. then you just have to change that mindset and be like. Who the hell cares? I'm yeah. wearing. Do you follow the rap scene in America much? No, nah, not really. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> what is that? that? No. <laughs> Do you guys know who like Young Thug is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So like Young Thug, he said like 70% of his wardrobe is female items, which is very out there. Yes. And he love it. He has like 10 baby mamas, right? So <laughs> he's like the straightest bloke ever. He's just you know, you know that kind of thing. And like so many people have like said he's gay cuz like he wears freaking dresses and just like Dresses like a hermaphrodite a little bit, but I th- personally think it's really cool. That might just be me. No, but yeah. I really rate his. He's always wearing something wacky. Same like Playboy Cardi. People like that. They're just wearing the most wacky stuff. No, I love that sort of stuff. That's swag for me. And like overall, that's just like I don't care what other people think of me. And like I think to girls, which we will segue into later, that's one of the most attractive things. Yeah. They yeah. love confidence. Anyway, love before we get on yeah, too much sorry, of a tangent, sorry, sorry. tip number two. Okay, Can we sorry, think of one? Tip, no, t- all right, tip number two. Tip. I'm trying to stop him from thinking too much. Like, I'm trying to get him to think. I'm trying to segue. All right, second one. Come on. <sighs> second one. Um, shit. You're talking to someone who knows nothing. Like, You're literally <laughs> talking to Louis Phillips right now. 
in the south of France who's still wearing his um, 2002 Billabong shorts, <laughs> piping hot shirt. <laughs> it's small size, too small for him. <laughs> tip number two. That's a good tip. Think about anyone that's just like absolute. Just think about your own fashion, like when you go out. Bag. All right. There you go. Tip number two, get some clothes with a bit of like bagginess in like them. Like it. Like pants. So we started with the shoes and then pants. Get it, Yeah, get a bit of baggy clothes. Yeah, baggy clothes for the for the tip number two. And then... Baggy tip. shirts, baggy sh- pants. What's yeah. your go-to? Pants. Definitely baggy, baggy pants. Baggy pants. Yeah. Cargos. You love yeah, your cargos. Love, you actually love shirt, baggy pants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, that's not bad. Singlet, tight singlet. Yeah. Baggy pants. Okay. Yeah. I let him into that one. I knew it. And some, <laughs> Come and on. some unique <laughs> shoes. Um, you actually didn't get lit into public house with some cargo pants. Yeah, no, nah, I didn't. I don't know what what the problem is. I didn't think is. there was anything wrong with your outfit. Yeah, yeah. nah. And then I you came it... wearing a girl shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, don't be afraid to wear. Bro, I'm gonna raise my arms before. How cool this. is that? Yeah. I remember it, the problem was that it actually looked fantastic. Um, but you kept going and yeah, around everyone look, saying, yeah. Boy, <laughs> I'm wearing a girl shirt. Yeah. Like, mate. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think I had a few too many vodka raspberries that night. But all right, yeah. third tip. Third tip is, I feel like you can't go wrong with anything vintage. Mm. Vintage is in right now. Yeah. Third tip, vintage. Love it. No, I agree with that. Anything, any, any, anything vintage. Have you got any vintage stores that you go to or are you, are you an online shopper or are you more like going to stores? More going to stores, like yep. thrifting around, you know, Carlton, Fitzroy, um, Fitzroy Mills Market where we went to. Yep. I love, love that joint. I go there pretty much every weekend. That's like a, a, a weekend routine for us boys. Mm. Um, so yeah, go there. Uh, lost, lost and found on Fitzroy. That's also another good one. Yep. Fitzroy um, sounds like the place to be. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, no. Nah, so a lot of vintage brands send me send me some clothes. So they always hook me up. Like we started vintage and the, the outdated boys as well. I love them. They 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 hook me up all the time with some good hoodies. I know both of those brands are really really good. They're the restated. I always go yeah, shopping. Rest- I always yeah. search vintage yeah. stuff, and they're like the first one up. Yeah. Um, that comes up. Penny for your threads is another good one. There's, yeah, there's heaps of good ones out there that, yeah. are, that definitely do do you well. We've got uh, Riley Edmonds here who says, what is the most dead fashion trend at the moment, in your opinion? Ooh, dead fashion trend. That's an interesting one. Mm. Um, you know those Yeezy sandal looking things like the Yeezy sand runners yeah I, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know I, I don't think they're a vibe I, personally I know Gab's going to disagree with me on this so I'm sorry Gab but I don't like any like Yeezy stuff what do you I don't like any Yeezy stuff oh either. really yeah. oh good oh. I mean I can respect what Kanye's done I know he's a very controversial figure at the moment I think he's done amazing things with very out there clothing but it's become very very mainstream it yeah. is right and it's like very out there stuff that's very mainstream, and I don't think that works. Yeah, I thought you, lo- I thought you were going to be big on Yeezy, but no, no. I, I don't even own a single Yeezy thing. I think I can respect some of it. I yeah, really respect what he's done, but I don't think uh, it just seems. Uh, no, I don't even want to say that. We'll be careful with Kanye. What's your thoughts on Yeezy stuff? Yeah, no, nah, the shoes. I'm not vibing. Like I don't vibe with any of the shoes mm. really. That I never really have. I think I've got one of his hoodies though, so yeah. I can't I can't say too much. What are your thoughts on like the whole trend of uh, heavyweight hoodies and heavyweight items? Yeah, I love them, love yeah. them. Yeah, I reckon they're in at the moment. Like when when you buy a good heavyweighted hoodie, you know it's gonna last. Because you did that Yeezy Gap one, which weighed like ten kilos, and it was the baggiest thing ever. Okay, see, I don't I don't mind that one. Yeah, so, really? Yeah, I like it. What about you guys? You, you don't Ooh. you don't vibe with it? Oh, it's good if you're going in for a weigh in and you're a bit under. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go in and get some work done. Yeah, no, nah, I like it. I like the weighted hoodies. They're, yeah, they're, they're a good feel. You got some other cues yeah, there. So, Gabalicious. Favorite designer by Tom Joseph. All right, shout out Josie. Favorite designer. So, I think that means it could mean a designer individual, it could mean a brand. Ooh, like it. Yeah. Daniel well, Wellington. Oh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> isn't I'm, it David? No, nah, it's Daniel. 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 Yeah, yeah, Daniel. It's Daniel. Those, watch it, those yeah, fake those watches fake from Bali. Yeah, those fake watches from like two bucks and they sell them for like 500 bucks. Yeah. Oh, shout oh, out Daniel Wellington. I don't want to. I don't wanna, be mean to anyone on this body. <laughs> I think it's it's a basic answer, but Nike is obviously the the, the brand I wear the most. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of, like vintage vintage type of Nike style is yeah just what I love to wear. Like I feel like you just can't get a bad piece in vintage Nike clothing. Um, it's true. I think I posted a photo like a 
a shoot photo and I was wearing a Nike t-shirt. It was just like a blank Nike t-shirt and people started asking me like, oh, are you modeling for Nike? And I'm like, no. Nah, no, that's, that's not what that's, I'm I mean, it just for. has to be the like the coolest logo, even though it's obviously mm. the most common logo. Yeah. I, on a vintage, it looks very different. Yeah. It's cool. I got a few vintage pieces and people always message me and they're like, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? Yeah. So I'm gatekeeping. I'm not telling you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a secret for me, bro. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you just can't go wrong with a Nike. Not clothing. What are you, what's your opinion on people saying like, you know, it's a bit, I know you both have experienced it, but people telling you off for like something they kind of own or have quote unquote like trademarked. You know, what do you you've mean? Got, you've got a very iconic mullet. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we'd bring this up. <laughs> I mean, it both kind of links to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. And that can be related to fashion as well. It's like, oh, you're just copying. Like, you're if copying I wear yeah. something that you'd wear, people might message me being like, oh, you're just copying Jordan Manager. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. I think you can get inspiration from people. Uh, copying is such a, like, bad word to use for that, like term but uh, my opinion on that yeah nah like who doesn't have a mullet in 2022 like it went it's just a weird one for me because it's like someone's done it before you yeah it's like don't think you're the first person that's ever done it yeah like you're yeah. not the first person that's yeah. ever worn freaking air maxes yeah or like the first person that's done a mullet or done it freaking vintage clothing like People have done it before. I you. am like, the you're first not- person who's got a shirt from Sri Lanka that's like too small for them with some sort of trippy pattern on it. So if you copy me, which I doubt anyone would. Um, Dude, if you copy me or Gab's outfits right now, I swear to God, with you. You, got, you guys real, You guys going over there. <laughs> um, so you guys think you can take inspiration, but don't copy them. Yeah, yeah. Put your own slack. Like, Put your own twist on it, type mm. of thing. Yeah, great. That's yeah. what everything is in the yeah. end, isn't it? It's everyone take it's it's what we do a lot of the time with content, right? Yeah, it's the same sort of thing. It's like trends. You know, we like, take a little bit from that, but we add our own spice to it. And yeah. I think that that's fair. I get a lot of comments from people like you and I, Prime, will wear the silliest outfits or just do the silliest things we can, and people will be like like telling us off for it it's like bro you're just feeding into the bait so hard like you did this on purpose even the most innocent video i did remember last week we went to the supermarket and i was filming like high protein items yeah. some guy's like oh this is definitely a piss take he's wearing like a chain brace he's got his hat backwards he's got blonde hair he's wearing like a satchel as well and he's like he's definitely taking the piss I'm like that's just my outfit Mate, yeah. that's actually just what i wear like yeah i get that all the time remember that first video that we did where we were like walking down the streets of um yeah and people all in the comments what are you wearing what are you wearing it's like we're obviously doing that on purpose. Yeah. Those like, outfits weren't even that rogue though. No, I don't. I thought they were actually quite clean. Yeah. 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 If you do you get do you get any of that? What? Like, what are you wearing? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. But it's all just noise. You just. What about of... like hate on social media? Like, do you get a fair bit of that sort of stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I, I have uh, like recently started to get a bit of that. But um, yeah, like comments here and there, um, and on a night out as well. Yeah, you start to get a little bit of hate when people start getting a bit of drinks. But really, yeah. so they yeah. actually. I, I mean, I think f- it might be similar for you, Prime, but 98% positive interactions, yep. maybe even 99. Yep. And there's always some one guy who's just got a whole lot of issues. Like at Nando's heckling. the other night. Oh, that was, yeah. Like, that just was like, even bad. Yeah, but, but it's just like, come on, like, why? why <laughs> so you guys have had, you've had a little bit of that, Jordan? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. It's all just like, you know, you take the good with the bad, I, I, I guess. Um, yeah, I have had a little bit of it though. But what, What's been your worst, can you can I ask what's like been your worst social interaction with someone? Because like on social media is fine if someone's telling you to do whatever, whatever, whatever. But what's your actual worst one in person? Uh, well, there was this bloke that wanted to fight me just because I posted, I post videos. So I, f- I feel like that's like, why are you coming to fight someone just because they post videos? I don't know. You're kidding, just yeah. because you post TikToks. Yeah, yeah, like how, you know, sad of a life do you have to do to do that, but... That's what you always say, like you're, you're having a sad life, yeah. if that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I've only really... Oh, some people, like, when they just, like, scream it out and you can't tell if they're taking the piss or Yeah, not, that's like... Yeah. Bro, who the fuck are you? Yeah. <laughs> like, that one that you oh, I don't want to throw you under the bus. No, no, say it, say it. It's like... What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was that was really bad for me. I regret. But it was heat of the moment. It was heat, it was of, heat the of the moment. When you're on like a soccer pitch or something, that's heat yeah, of the yeah. Moment. It's heat of the moment. Jeez. Like, what's um, your name? Yeah. Well, it, 
Physical altercations, no thank you. Oh, yeah. mate. Nah. Not for me, mate. Nah. If you want to fight with me, <laughs> go for it. You you beat the hell out of me. I will not fight you. <laughs> I'm not a good fighter. Yeah, Have you, nah. You've never had a physical altercation? Like, nah, nah. You just wanted to fight yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just what happened? up a little bit. Nah, all my mates had my back, so we put it to bed pretty quickly, but... Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty Your confronting. Boy just came and just yeah, smacked him. It's pretty confronting when someone comes up to you and they just want to, you know, punch on just because you post videos and enjoy your life and just capture your life and want to share it with everyone. But you know, it's it like happens. we, me, Gavin, myself always say, it's like you were doing something positive. How can you hate on it? Yeah. You know. Um, Even the other day, like, or like, so we posted. What I feel to be two wholesome TikToks mm. recently, the gambling one, how like advising against gambling and two, uh, the one saying like how we impact people's lives positively mm -hmm. and people will still find a way to hate that. People, will, it doesn't matter what TikTok we post, there'll always be one negative comment. Yeah, at least. At least one. And it's like, you're the major you're, you're, you're the minority here. You're not a... Uh, I have a good question I want to go through. Um... I'm not going to read this guy's full name out because mm -hmm. I don't want to throw him under the bus here, but his first name is Oscar. What's his last name? Uh, no, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so, any ideas for a corporate office outfit that isn't RM's chinos, button-up, and a vest? I'm a living NPC at the moment. Would appreciate the help. Interesting. I think 90% of private school males in Melbourne wear this outfit, and it pains me, not because of your decision, just that we are culturally, socially you know, bred to wear the same thing. Right. And it's like any danger in wearing something different. I understand you guys probably have a dress code at work, so it might be hard to, to veer away from that. But for going out, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like there, there should be more creativity there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, with the RMs, that, that's, yeah, that's a killer. I feel like you could switch them up with some docks, maybe. Docks yeah. are a bit trendy. They're, they're, they're definitely in at the moment. Or some Tim's. Yeah, Tim's, bro. I freaking love his Tim's. Tim's. You love Tim's? I love awesome. Tim's, bro. Yeah, yeah no, nah, they're a clean So, one. what else could he go for? He's got docks. He's got docks. He's he just got his normal trousers on. You can't go wrong with some shirt. denim baggy jeans. Hmm. Yeah, or like a Might be difficult in an office. Just like a loose, bag, yeah, yeah, loose, like a loose fit. Hmm. Loo not skinny, not skinny jeans, just a loose fit um, type of vibe. And then, what's he wearing? A button up. Hmm. I I would be really pushing the limits of my work dress code. <laughs> have you, either of you seen Better Call Saul? No. Nah. Yeah, yeah. You have? Yeah. He tries to get fired, so he went, and it's like, like this really strict law firm, and he ends up wearing like the most flamboyant suits possible just to like really push the limits. I'm someone who would be really pushing the boundaries there, like seeing what I can get away with. Bro, I'll promote the guy. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> I'll be like, this dog, so <laughs> I love him. I, I, I reckon see what you can get. See if you can get away with some Tims. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yep, I agree. Get get away with some Tims or some Docs. Yeah. I think that that's just change up. Instead of wearing RMs all the time, which which we love to wear RMs. I think, all yeah, RMs, nothing against RMs. They're like literally one of the most high quality shoes yeah. ever. Super it's high just value. annoying that everyone wears them. Mm, it's like change it up every now and then. Like if you're wearing RMs every single time you go out, maybe change it up and wear some Docs. Or yeah, wear some and just add some add some style to the fit, like you know, add some jewelry or make make it seem something different. Like add it to, you know, make it feel like you're wearing a different fit each day. You know, wear a different necklace. Maybe throw in a bag, a man bag. Yeah, you know? he loves a man bag. Yeah. I do, I do love a man. You wear it bag. almost everywhere. Mate, it's got everything. It's got my passport, Huge. my headphones, yeah. my just yeah. keys, everything in there. It's really good. Do you love a man bag? Yeah, I love a man bag. Like a, love a satchel, it. a bum bag. Like what are we talking? Any, any, any strap yeah. around me. I got me. this really nice one in LA from the Supreme store there yeah yeah I've and it was that. only 80 USD for it really it's so good and it's got a water bottle holder it's fantastic I loved it there jeez let's talk about um, jewellery just quickly because you mentioned that so you got two earrings on one side yeah on this side which is um, probably unusual for a male to have <laughs> two well like uh, uh, mate I've done it before isn't it called no. the doubles it's yeah it's not called two you just call it oh, like the double sorry. I got my second or what yeah, did I say? Yeah. What's the terminology? <laughs> I'm I not even sure of the terminology. Yeah, yeah. You yeah it's nose, a double. No, it's a double. You've got a nose ring as well. <laughs> yeah. You know, you've got a few different um, pieces of jewellery. What's, what's your... You go with silver jewellery. What's your... What's yeah, silver jewellery. No, it's actually funny. When I was in high school, I didn't actually like piercings at all. Mm. And one day we're at the at High Point, a shopping centre in Melbourne. Yeah. And all my... Pretty much a couple of my mates had their nose pierced. And one of my mates said to me, you know, get your nose pierced. And I was like, oh, no, nah, I don't really. You know, my parents really, like, 
bred it into me that like don't get any piercings, don't get any tattoos, all of that jazz. And he and I was like, nah, no, nah, I don't want to get one. And then he's like, I'll pay for it if you get it done. I'm like, oh. and, and he's like, and you can take it out right after if you don't like it. I'm like, it's a win-win situation. So yeah, that's I first got the nose piercing. And then everyone was giving me compliments on it. Remember, I went out, got some compliments. I was like, all right, we're, we're sticking with the nose piercing. And then the earring, I think that just came into a trend. I think Harry Holland actually inspired the double the yeah. double hoop. Yeah. Does he have double? Yeah, he's got yeah. the double, yeah. So first I started off with a little bit of a fanboy, but now we're, now we're mates, me and Harry. But yeah, I think he started off the double hoop. So that's how What do you think about getting both ears pierced? Both ears pierced? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't have a problem with it. I think yeah. it's fine. I do like the the subtlety and yeah, it's not, not symmetrical, not big, like it's asymmetric just with yep. one. Yeah, yeah, but not like big diamond doubles. Yeah. But you know, I mean, that could be part of your unique outfit, though. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Dennis Rodman would wear something like that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that's definitely true. something that yeah, you got to be able to pull norm. it off. You got to yeah. be able to pull it off. There's like particularly like African Americans mm. like having the double like big bust down. What are they called? I don't know. Tatiana. Yeah, like big <laughs> fucking diamond earrings look sick. Yeah, literally. I think that that takes it to the next level when you start. Also, to go. question for you, Jordan. Opinion on mixing Ooh. silver with gold? Ooh, no, no, or it's a no. Yeah, it's a no, no. It's a no, it's a no, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Nah. It's not allowed. You can't do it. Nah. Yeah. It's okay. got to have. I've a clean. definitely done it in the past. Nah. Yeah. It's like you pick silver or you pick gold. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah. I'm the same. I'm the same. I've got all silver on, so I got to stick by that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, you you don't believe in that? I mean, I've got a well, he's got a e- earring now. This is silver, is it? No, it's gold. Oh, bro, I'm <laughs> mixing. <No. laughs> I do have gold ring options too. I do have gold options. I should be wearing it. Yeah, because wow. they all complement each other if they're they all do. silver. Yeah. Okay, I got to sort that. But one it's out, okay. Guys. See, you got a funky shirt on. If you learn on, anything yeah. from today, it's that Manager's telling you to do freaking <laughs> same color. I'm gonna write that one down. I'll fix it. Same good man, silver jewelry. No, I think it looks good. I think that it's one of those things um, with jewelry that, like you said, you got to test the boundaries a little bit with what you're doing because at the start, when you're fresh, freshly faced, people are a bit like. Oh, what the hell? You know, you're, you're starting to pierce yourself. But I think it's a really cool thing to experiment. Is it a Garmin with. watch? It is. Yeah. Yes. What opinions on like? I think the Garmin's are nice. Yes, piece. I love. Yeah, I love the Garmin's. You wear an Apple Watch, which I really don't rate. Mm. I reckon that looks so oh, tacky. It's so good. It's like the Spotify, iTunes. Like it's, I feel like that's the the yeah. But what would what would they? I think Spotify's as well. the yeah, Garmin. The, yeah, yeah, Spotify Garmin. Yeah. No, you can do Spotify on Apple Watch. Apple Watch is iTunes every day. Apple Watch is iTunes music. Here we go. Blah uh, blah blah. It's what, what are you? Are you Spotify? Is it Spotify? Obviously. What are you? Yeah, Spotify. Yeah. yeah. All right, so get a Garmin. No, no but you, you can do Spotify <laughs> on the uh, Apple Watch as well. No, it, uh, Apple that, Watch is saying flat. that, bro. We're not saying that. We're just saying brand comparison. Adidas versus Nike, Pepsi versus Coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Garmin I'm versus saying Apple like, Watch. Who are you rocking with? I'm rocking with Apple. No, they go. Bro, f- that's You've crazy. already got a Dude, phone. Fate of the universe on the line. I'm taking <laughs> Apple Watch every single day of the week. You know what's even better than Apple Music? YouTube Premium. Ooh. <laughs> or or iTunes. Or iTunes. SoundCloud Premium. <laughs> Apple Music is on the very bottom row. <laughs> Titles even in front of it. Oh my Jay Z. Oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> Apple Watches go flat in life. Are you serious right now, bro? Yeah, what's even. Bro, okay. 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 Personal story. Sometimes. Really? Like, okay, that's yeah, pretty no, cool. No. You can have this for a month if you're stuck in Afghanistan <laughs> and this is getting you home, bro. Yeah, Apple Watch is going <laughs> to die because it'd be telling you. Sophie 123's freaking Snapchatted you, bro. Mate, it's Apple Watches are so good. I just love looking at my exercise ring. Yeah, you've already got a phone, my bro. Exercise ring. You can get no. the rings on here. No, no, the this exercise is the ring Rolls is Royce better. sports watches. As a sportsman, I'm disappointed. You're not a sportsman. Yes, I am, bro. I scored a hat trick from center back, <laughs> and yeah, I'm you strong. Did. Yeah. You did. I'll give you um, that. But Bullying. I wanted to say something, but I forgot it. We were too busy talking about Apple Watches. We hated were. it. Got hated. For oh me. yeah, no. Frustrating thing, right? I've had it occur a few times. A girl will be over, we're cuddling in bed, and her Apple Watch doesn't stop fucking vibrating. It's like sure, she's got are you armor. sure it's her Apple Watch? Are you sure you stick to your Bro, job? It's like, this is I'm like, what's out. that? What's that? It's like, turn that shit off. Ah. Put it on, do not disturb. Like, I don't care. No, that's a very fair thing. You sleep over tonight? Maybe. Good man. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, sleep over. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Um, it's already locked for prime. We yeah. don't even have to ask him. Doesn't do we? matter for me, mate. 
6 a.m. You wake up, you get out. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, what else we got? That's the fashion topic. Fashion topic. Um, but let's do a few quick sponsors for cool. today. Um, first up, we have Tomorrow Skincare, the goats. Have you ever tried them, them, Jordan? I have not. I'm yet to try them. Yeah. And I do love a good skincare routine. Prime and I are big fans. Mm. Um, Do you have anything to say about them, Prime? Mate, we always say uh, that the toner is the way to go. Mm. Uh, It's my favorite. But like if you if you have the money, um, I would recommend just getting the full everyday essentials kit one to four. I use it every single day. I reckon I use it more than once a day. I reckon I almost use it twice or three times I use it every time I shower. Yeah, and I shower twice a day. Sometimes I can't be bothered showering and I'll just uh, wash Put it my on. face. Mm. Like, I wa- I'll get some hot water with a face washer, wash it all off and do the foam cleanser, wash that off, then liquid toner, then structure serum, then gel moisturizer and bang, you glow and you're looking a million Your bucks. Your skin is actually looking the best I've seen it. Thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> looking bro. really, really good. Yeah. I meant probably like a month ago, maybe you're a bit more stressed. Maybe at the moment you're a bit less stressed. I don't stressed know what happened there. Yeah, maybe I was stressed. I don't yeah. feel like I was stressed, but I did have it a few pimples. It looks unbelievable. Yeah, looks thank good. you. Um, yeah, Tomorrow Skincare is the goat. I think that we we love uh, love the way they go about it and um, anyone that's ever used it. I don't think I've ever got a bad review from anyone mm-hmm. that's ever used it. They're always like, oh my God, Tomorrow Skincare is actually good. It's like, no shit. I've freaking been telling you this for ages. Yeah, so if you guys do want to pick that up, we already know like pretty much every male... Listener is probably already on it or has tried it. Everyone who orders merch gets some samples from them. So if you do want to get anything, use code NTF or code PRIME and you'll get 20% off and you'll help support your boys. Next one, we have Manscaped. We love Manscaped. Jordan, have you ever tried a Manscaped product I have before? not yet to try that as really? well. Do you shave anything or are you just, you're just a big hairy head? You've got, you got some shaved legs there though. Yeah. Is that with shave. a razor? Yeah. Wow. Smooth, bro. If I use a razor, I get mad ingrowns. How do you avoid that? Mm. Well, I get them up here, but no, not really down there. I don't know. Just you've got beautiful legs. Yeah, thank you. No, just, I, maybe I, I just need prefer a, the convenience of the clipper because, like, you cool. can do it in five minutes and your legs look aesthetic as hell. Yeah. Your legs are looking good. So I think anyone who wants to shave their legs or shave some more delicate regions uh, <laughs> needs a lawnmower 4.0. Also, the uh, the new boxer shorts they're amazing. Mm. We love the boxer shorts. And also, side note, I actually use it on my hair. All the time. I don't even cut my hair. I don't go to the barber. Mm. Um, I cut it with a Manscaped product. It's just so a super intuitive product because like... It's if a you, if you get like a, Yeah, literally. But you can go to the supermarket and get or wherever it is, hair house, warehouse, and get one of those big clippers and you need 10 different attachments. Whereas mm. this can do everything and it's like a USB-C cable. It's How easy like, could it be? How It's like Elon Musk be? designed it, bro. It it's is. just simple, you know? It is simple. Um, also, I've thrown out all my other old shitty Adidas underwear and I asked boss man for another 10 pairs of the new Manscaped ones at $50 a pop but he's sending them down so I'll be sporting that only from now they're the best jocks oh mate that's incredible boss yeah. man's actually doing alright yeah I just, I, I just ask and he sends no he's, questions asked I think actually, Manscaped lady. have some deep pockets oh, <laughs> you reckon? maybe anyway right. if you do want to get any of that stuff use code NTF not code PRIME um, use code NTF you will get 20% off and free shipping mm-hmm. quick fashion question for you guys Underwear, is that something you guys put thought into? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely put thought into it on, especially like if I'm going out or something. My lucky and pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like, I'm like, if I take these off, are they going to look fucking embarrassing? <laughs> like, if I take my pants off, are they going to look embarrassing or are they going to look good? Like, I have to be wearing. You've like, got like that one A tier undies, and the rest are like. There's one that's got like C, holes and stuff D, in them. Yeah. <laughs> holes and stuff. Skip marks. Skip marks down. You're like, oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> so never get white underwear. <laughs> no, I've got I've got a few pairs of white underwear. I just never wear them. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you no. put a bit of thought into it, Menager. Well, definitely now it's coming into summer. Yeah, Ooh, I feel like you know yeah, when, yeah. when you get the shirt off, you, yep. you know you can you can see the top. The top True, lift. actually that's such a good point you because know? if you, you if you're wearing um freaking poverty um <laughs> poverty like losers <laughs> like from Coles or something <laughs> like. And you, you you go in the summer, you go to like jump in the pool and they can see like the top of it and everyone else is wearing manscaped freaking boxes and you've got these Coles Express um, <laughs> ones on. People are like, the are you freaking yeah. well, mate? Yeah, what are yeah. like, if you could flex underwear as a male, what is like the number one flex underwear you can wear? I think Calvin Klein. Yeah, it's got to be Calvin Klein. I think it's really? Calvin. It's got to like, be. They're like $70 yeah. for a pair, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And they're all white. What about well? like the Nike Combat underwear? I think that's a flex as well. Yeah, you reckon? They're, well, they're expensive. Yeah, yeah. I don't know true. if it's like a style thing. Yeah. Like personally, if it's summer, I reckon the most alpha thing ever is to just have budgies on. Yeah. 
Like that's I mean, alpha. That's all I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah. If we're going swimming, that's all I'm wearing. Hundred percent. Like if if it's summertime and you're going to like a pool party or something, everyone else is in boardies. Yeah, congratulations, mate. I'll pull my pants down. I got a budgie smuggler right there and a big freaking. Are you a fan of that or not? I, I've ne- I don't really rock with the budgie smuggler. I've got a mate that wears them Fuck all the you, time. Fuck you, Jordan. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. It's not the eighties. Nah, nah dude. Um, Contra- budgies are controversial ticket. here, guys, but. My lucky pair of undies for going out on a night out is a pair of boxer shorts. So like loose, you keep it loose, you keep it hanging. So it doesn't get too sweaty. It's, it's, you know, the Tyler Creators brand golf. Yeah. I have like a few pairs of golf. Okay. All right. Golf. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm loving that. I'm, I like just testosterone production down there. (laughs) Leave it hanging, leave it airing. And bro, like best nights ever when Bro, I wear those. Oh, well done. That's incredible. It, it never failed you. One night in Malaysia and it was like my best night ever. So I'm like, I'm wearing boxer shorts from now You're on. superstitious. <laughs> That's a lucky no, not pair. not superstitious. It's just like, if I just want to have a fun night with the lads and I'm wearing normal ones, but if I'm feeling something special, I'll wear like my best boxer shorts I got. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, You don't want, to, uh, I think one of the biggest advice I can give is don't, you don't want tight ones because it cramps your style. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's not what you want. Do you sleep naked? Depends. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm going to sleep over. Depends yeah. who's I over. I always sleep naked. Really? Every day? It's good for I've you. I've heard it's good for you. It's yeah. For you, I have bro. heard it's good oh, for really? you. I don't want anything like freaking restricting there while I sleep, bro. Yeah. What about I, you, manager? No, nah, I don't sleep naked. Pussy? Yeah. What? Do you have like a full <laughs> nah. pajamas at night? <laughs> <laughs> Peter <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> couple of times. Go Peter Alexander. Maybe after a big night out, I just come home and just, just take everything off. Love it. Bed. Can't be stuffed. I uh, slept yeah. in my full blazer the other day. Blazer. <laughs> Blazer, Aquila shoes, and your trousers, Gab. That was literally what I slept in. I think that's the best thing when you're like absolutely hammered and you come home from a night out. Yeah. And you just know this is going to be the most elite sleep because I'm going to knock out straight away and not be awake for another 10 hours. Man, I was like electric talking to a girl. I was like, bro, I'm going home. I'm not even going to be able to offer anything. I'm going straight home. (laughs) Just not even a chance. You know, it's going to be a good sleep. Oh, it was a great sleep. Got to get that beauty sleep in. It was good. Um, what, what else have we got on the um, on the Q and A's, my guy? On the agenda. Do we want one? The one you guys have all been waiting for: <laughs> relationships, <laughs> dating, Ooh. these things we call women. Who I don't can't know. live with him? Can't live without him. Amen, baby. <laughs> um, so, I have no experience with women. Mm-hmm. I don't think Prime does it either. I've said, so, oh, I'm actually feel virgin. Yeah. Oh, um, we know okay. Jordan. Might I don't know. He does. He's I think a, he's uh, been through a little bit. <laughs> I've had a couple. I honestly want to say uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like me, I think Gab and I speak for. Uh, I don't want to speak for anyone else, but me and Gab always say he's just always surrounded by beautiful women, bro. And how do you do it? You are. You're, <laughs> you're always, always surrounded, surrounded by beautiful by women. women. Boys, literally, the most on. stunning women. No, don't do that to me. You literally are, and we see like stories and stuff of you. Like, whoa, this guy is playing a game. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it's just people you know. You, you you meet one and then they start like in our friendship group and then they show us their friends and they just you know. They're How important are you writing this is down, it? Tom? Hey, <laughs> are you writing in this down? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we both. We'll go. We'll listen back to this and write down notes. Yeah. Um. How important is it to like not burn bridges between? You know, like, so if you've got a girl that you kind of like, you know, talking to, whatever, like, if you're nice to them, then you're nice, like, they tell their 10 friends yeah. that you're nice to them, and then you kind of become friends with that whole group. Yeah, well, I think the main thing about girls is they talk. That, like, they you do. Know, blokes think that. Do they? You know, <laughs> you know, I think some blokes think that girls don't talk literally to every other girl, you know what I mean? Like, Mate, that. If, you, if a girl ever says to you, I won't tell anyone. Yeah. My, my oh, biggest shit. fear is that she posts something that doesn't like Melbourne gal pals and every girl in Melbourne hates me, <laughs> which they already do. But so yeah, going back to your question, I think it's very important to keep the bridges well or whatever the saying is, just, you know, don't burn them um, and just keep that good. Even after a breakup, keep, you know, a good friendship because it can really stuff up, you know. If you're friends with their friends, mm. then, you know, if you burn the bridges with the person that you're talking to, then that, then it's all the bridges are all gone. All the bridges are gone, mm-hmm. and then it's a bit like awkward on like a a night out, you know, on the scene. Like, it just creates tension that's not needed. Like, you know, just I, I think I've got a track record. Every girlfriend I've had has blocked me, yeah. which is good. <laughs> but I've got a lot of love for them. Like, no, I'm yeah, not salty I'm at all to them. If I see them on a night out, like hugs, kisses, mm. like how you going, like mm. love what you did. Like chapter in the book. Oh, I'm the exact same thing. Like I, 
Uh, I recently had a breakup probably two, three months ago, like when I moved down here. Um, it was a case of right person, uh, wrong time, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and yeah, it's one of those things where you don't want to see kind of what each other's doing because it's like, it's kind of an amical mutual kind of thing that had to happen. But it's one of those things that like, if you don't burn the bridge and block your, block, block each other and everything, um, then I think that there's still room for things to grow. And, and also like you're still friends with their friends. It's not like this terrible thing where you burn bridges and, and you don't, you know, everyone hates you or you hate all their friends. Yeah. Cause you start off, obviously you, you like this person. That's, that's why you talk to them. You like their company and you get to know them at such a deep level. And then to get that like taken away just because, you know, you want to burn bridges or you, you know, it didn't end the way you wanted it to end. You know, I just don't think it's worth burning the bridge. And you had a bit of a, a situation, <laughs> let's say break up. Did that affect you much? Yeah, yeah, definitely did mentally um, after that. Just going out um, caused a bit of social anxiety. Yeah. Um, being, you know, such a public relationship. Mm -hmm. um, so when that ended, you know, yeah, it wasn't the best. Um, so, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, like it's one of those things that we, we, you know, we talked about it off air and stuff and it's like, yeah, it's one of those things that we don't want to get too much, too deep into it, into this potty, but um, yeah, no, you've got to be, like we said, no, don't want to be burning any of those bridges because, um, yeah, it's a difficult thing to come back to. It. Yeah, exactly. We have a question here from, actually, I shouldn't. Is What's his last name? <laughs> it rhymes with Gash. All right. Uh, how to end a long-term relationship when they haven't done anything wrong, but you've just lost feelings. A non, if you, oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 All right. Did you get that, guys? I'm sorry. Freaking Travis Scott. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How to end it if you're just not vibing. They haven't done anything wrong. You're Over just text. not vibing. No. <laughs> 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 through the I'm mail joking, please everybody I'm joking voice don't message do don't do that voice message <laughs> post it selfie TikTok. post it on TikTok <laughs> friends only <laughs> oh, alright manager how would you do it oh, just communicate your feelings with them I feel like it's such a generic answer but at the, at the end of the day all you can do is just communicate exactly what you're feeling just just you know sit them down I sit them like, down. Sit them down. Pencil them in for a meeting in the schedule. <laughs> Let them know. Zoom meeting. Zoom meeting. Get it done. And with the family as well and the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Do Just you have anything to add, Prime? Oh, yeah. I always say in relationship communication is absolutely key. Yeah. Um, so, I, yeah, I guess with breaking up, it's a pretty... It, look, it's a difficult one because... I think in this day and age, there's a lot of things that we break up with people for. One, social media is a massive problem with dating because a lot of people look at social media and look at other uh, males or females on social media and think that grass is greener on the other side. Don't think that. You know, it's it's a bit crazy, that sort of yeah. stuff. And it, it can really ruin relationships, I think, social yeah. media. So, um, And a, a lot of the time as well, we think we've got one problem and that's why we're going to break up. Like if you're in a marriage and you have one problem and you think that's um, okay to break up, it's not. Like you know, you go. It's a partnership. You go through ups and downs in in these relationships. So don't just think that one thing's um, going to ruin it. So stick fat for a little while, and if it's really, really that bad, then um, then make the call. And if you're going to make the call, you got to do it to her face. Yeah, be man about it. Mm. I think there's no other way. Don't do it over text. You're doing it over it text. It depends. If you're just like seeing someone, maybe it's been a few weeks. Yeah. I feel like text is okay. Yeah. Right? If you're seeing each other a handful of times, say yeah. less than. Six times you've right. seen each other. But obviously, if it's a few months, like, to her face. Oh, if it, it mate, if you're doing it, if, if you're, if you're actually dating. Yeah. And you're doing it over text, that's, that's really, really I had really a really poor. bad one, right? So, I had a high school relationship, shout out to her. Um, <laughs> actually, Big motivator for you. No, this, this, this oh, wasn't different a motivator. Okay. I really didn't give a fuck about different it, one. to be honest. Okay. But, um, I... <laughs> just asked her to formal because I wanted a formal partner because I thought people would start thinking I'm gay if I didn't bring a formal partner because <laughs> <laughs> I had no action with any girls which there's no problem with there's no problem with being gay I just personally wasn't gay yeah so right? you didn't want people to and have so yeah. then her friends started pressuring me into a relationship going when are you going to ask her out and I'm like oh yeah I'll ask her out <laughs> so I asked her out and we ended up dating for like a year what I hope no one from this school is listening <laughs> but I didn't it's going to get I sent. didn't like it 
I didn't oh like her. Oh my god! Right? You dated her for a year and you didn't like her. Maybe nine months. That's some. I dated someone work. for two days once and then broke up with them because I didn't um, like them. But yeah, I was dating her and I was telling like my friends on the soccer bus like I'm gonna break up with her. One of the kids on the soccer bus uh, was friends with her and ended up telling her, and she she sends me a text going like don't come down to my locker. I already know what you're going to say. And she was just fuming from there. And I was going to go down to a locker. I was heart rate 250 beats per minute, <laughs> but I was going to do it at the end, Friday after school no at way. 3.45. I was going to be a man about it. And she gives me that text message. Don't come down. I know what you're going to say. I'm like, what am I meant to do there? So then she starts telling all her friends I broke up with her over text. And it's like, no, I didn't. Hold on a second, <laughs> woman. They don't, they don't know that story, right? And so I got kicked from like 25 18ths that year. Every girl no in the way. school hated me. So I'm telling you, they That's talk. Thing. They talk, they bro. Don't burn bridges, don't bro. Burn bridges. Don't burn bridges. I fumbled that so hard, bro. <laughs> but how much of a learning curve was it for you? Oh, not much because I didn't really give a fuck. <laughs> anyway. No, I mean like talking to girls and like break, it, like if you're actually going to make the decision. Yeah, yeah, you that's ha- like true. Yeah. The burning the bridges kind of thing. Like you, if you burn one bridge, you actually burn 25. The butterfly effect you know yeah nice good call yes, sir. yeah like yeah that from yeah you. yeah that's true everything has it so effect. that's a crazy story anyway i reckon we cap it off there Legends. i reckon we wrap it up guzman gomez thanks very much for coming on jordan do you have anything any parting words anything you'd like to plug anything um, like that mate where do we find you jordan where the hell do we find you on instagram jordan manager and tiktok as well jordan manager so both of those socials go go over we'll there find you there yeah. I reckon. Anything I'll you want to plug before we go? Um, just the boys. Jimmy's boys. Plug to the plug to our out. mates. We love those boys. Jimmy's boys. Yeah. Amen to the doggies. Yeah. Let's go. Yochi. Yochi time. Yeah, Yochi time. Let's yeah. get it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah.